Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your general forecast, general tarot forecast for the month of August 2016. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising. As always, keep in mind that these are general readings so they're not going to apply to absolutely everybody watching. Just use your intuition and keep, your, uh, keep an open mind and take away the messages that do make sense to you in this general reading. Um, you can watch your moon and rising sign readings as well for additional messages. Or if you're interested in a private reading specific to you, you can um, follow the link in the description box below um, and have a look at the private readings that I offer. So, Leo, let's just have a look at what is coming in for you in the month of August. It looks like a really good month for you, I have to say. It looks like a month of making progress, of starting new things, of uh, finding balance, okay? And really, um, I feel emotional healing and feeling at peace. So let's just get started. So your overall energy for the month is the Eight of Coins. And the Eight of Coins is a beautiful energy because it talks about um, working hard on something that um, makes you who you are, working hard on something that you identify yourself with. Um, this could be starting a new job, this could be working on your studies, working on your education, this could be starting personal projects, starting hobbies that you're very passionate about, um, and who knows where that may lead, okay? Um, the Eight of Coins could also be uh, working on yourself, making a lot of progress on um, working on yourself. Um, this could be working on um, a home, this could be moving to a new place and that's where you're working on a home, or this is you redecorating or clearing out, um, spring cleaning, that kind of feel in your current residence. Um, this, could, this could definitely talk about beautifying, okay, your um, living space or your working environment, okay, whatever you spend more time at. Um, so definitely, I feel spring cleaning, I feel also working on your wardrobe, working on maybe coming up with a new appearance or something to that effect. And this is really also making progress in an existing job or when it comes to your finances and uh, your money making endeavors and ideas. I feel like this is, this is starting something new, working very hard at it, but really moving in a very positive direction with it. So in the first week of the month, you have the Temperance card, and you actually have two major Arcana cards in your reading, so you could be dealing with some uh, major changes happening, but I feel they're positive for the most part. Um, in the first week, Temperance talks about, for some of you, it could be a very busy month, a busy, busy week, it could be a busy month with the Eight of Coins, um, but it talks about a busy week where you have to make things work, where you have to blend things together, where you have to come up with new creative ways of staying on top of your schedule. The Temperance card also talks about um, making opposite um, energies work together or it could be working on a relationship for some of you with the Temperance card and the Eight of Coins. This could be working on finding common ground, finding middle ground, finding a peaceful place in the relationship, making it work where both parties are happy. It could be that. For others, I feel like this could definitely talk about working two jobs in the first week and really um, working hard on keeping everything going and on st uh, staying on top of your schedule. I do feel like you will be successful. Just be mindful uh, that you don't burn yourself out. Um, temperance generally talks about balance being restored. I feel like um, something that has been difficult or uh, with a lot of setbacks or obstacles, I feel like balance is being restored in that particular situation and you're starting to see change, you're starting to see progress, um, you're starting to see your hard work paying off, okay, in terms of maybe things are changing direction, um, maybe you are coming up with a new perspective on how to move things forward in this situation. Temperance is a card of Sagittarius and Sagittarius talks about broadening our horizons, opening our minds to new experiences, new ways of doing things, stepping outside our, com our comfort zone, um, adapting to things, making things work, um, and that is how we restore balance. So um, I do feel like a lot of ideas, inspiration uh, coming to you in the first week that gives you a new perspective on how to move forward with the situation and you're about to see progress, you're about to, th to see things finally um, moving in a very good direction, a very successful direction. 
For some of you, I feel like the Eight of Coins and Temperance talks about definitely a new job coming in that really helps balance out your finances. Um, temperance could also talk about uh, you're starting a new job or several new jobs or um, a new career or this is talking about your personal projects and your education. Um, and I feel like a balance is required between work and play or your home life and your work situation. Um, I feel like that's your focus for the first week, just making things work. Um, and like I say, if you're in a relationship, maybe with a Sagittarius person or an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I feel like you're really finding common ground in the first week and uh, finding a healthy, positive way to move forward with that relationship because temperance is also peace and healing okay and um seeing the positive in a situation just making it work and this is also i feel divine guidance for a lot of you uh, especially if you work in creative fields or um building things um using your ideas your creativity to build things to create um i feel like temperance talks about divine guidance coming in so you may be doing a lot of channeling in the first week um, if you write things, if you build things, like I say, draw things or anything like that. Um, I feel like you're going to receive a lot of divine guidance, divine inspiration. In the second week, we have the nine of coins and the nine of coins is beautiful. Okay, the nine of coins is abundance, luxury, richness, beauty that comes from hard work. Okay, this is the sign of um, Virgo. And this is Venus. So um, it talks about luxury and abundance that comes from um, organization, structure, hard work, okay, putting our nose to uh, the grindstone. And it follows the Eight of Coins, um, which is the Sun and Virgo talking about um, really dedica dedicating ourselves to a job, really dedicating ourselves to a project. Um, and that is exactly what is paying off for us in the second week of the month. So I feel like the second week of the month. Um, uh, you may see a lot of money coming in or a windfall um, or this is success recognition awards type thing. Um, this could also talk about especially if you own your own business because this is the card of the self-made man or woman. Um, definitely that paying off for you. You're about to see an increase. You're about to see um, previous work paying off and also new clients, new projects, new work, new money. Uh, new money opportunities happening okay around the second week um, I do see a lot of you around the second week maybe uh, spending some of that money on yourselves which is awesome and you should uh, reward yourselves for all your hard work maybe you're buying a new wardrobe maybe you're um, like I said in the <laughs> in the beginning of the video um, changing your look investing in the home or maybe investing in the business or um, if it's a home-based business that that makes a lot of sense definitely you're investing a lot in that um, this is definitely success and abundance, luxury, your hard work paying off in whichever area of life you are focusing on at this time. Um, and I do feel like make sure that you don't lose your head with this. Okay. Make sure that, um, you spend some time enjoying the fruits of your labor but at the same time uh, keep in mind to stick to the plan okay keep your plan in mind um, in the back of your head in terms of okay so um, now I'm gonna just enjoy myself for a little bit but then this is the next step that I want to go to for the third week we have the devil card um, for some of you I feel like the devil talks about being chained to your work um, and for, for others, I feel like it's the opposite and uh, just spending a lot of money. Um, so for some of you, let's start with the first option. I feel like for some of you, you're really um, chained to your work, okay? You're really work, work, work. Nothing else matters. You're all about work. And I feel like you're burning yourself out. And I feel like um, you're creating um, like a little prison for yourself where you feel like there's never time to do anything if you feel like you have too much to do and too little time it's just a lot of pressure and stress even panic um, that can um, overcome you around the third week I do feel that balance is key for you I feel like it's going to be a very busy month you're gonna have a lot of opportunities for work for money for success advancement promotion anything like that 
However, it's really, really important that you incorporate some downtime in your month. Remember, you have temperance in your reading, which is all about balance. It's all about um, making sure that you put time aside for work, but also put time aside for relaxation to balance each other out, okay? Um, for others, I feel like the Devil card talks about maybe delving too much into worldly uh, possessions, okay? Um, the Devil uh, does represent materialism, so maybe going overboard with your spending, going overboard with what you buy for yourself, what you uh, spend money on. Maybe you're going overboard with uh, drinking or um, any other habit that you may be picking up at this time. Uh, just be mindful of that, all right? Everything in moderation this month. It's very, very important for you. You will be very successful um, this month if you make time to um, come up with a way to balance things out, okay? So that you work, but you also rest. And it's not all about rest and spending, but at the same time, it's not all about work, 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 okay? Um, For others, I feel like this is a Capricorn person. This person may be a bit difficult to handle. Um, they may be uh, trying to impose their will on you or to get you to do things their way. Um, I feel like this could be someone trying to take over a project you've been working on or an idea you've been working on. Um, and if this is the case, just stand up for yourself, okay? Uh, just um, express yourself, assert yourself in... Um, a kind way but definitely assert yourself in terms of okay thanks for your input uh, but this is my idea I'm doing things my way and I appreciate that and I would appreciate if you uh, respected my boundaries or something to that effect okay in a respectful way but definitely assert yourself because I feel like this is someone who intentionally means well uh, but then they kind of run away with themselves and kind of lose sight of um, what they were actually trying to start to do which is to help you um, and just like I say, just be mindful of your spending, especially around the third week. I feel like there may be a bit of a, of a impulse shopping going on um, in that week. And by the end of the week, you may find yourself with a room full of boxes and you don't even remember what you ordered or why you ordered it, okay, or something to that effect. For the fourth week of the month, we have the Palace of Cups. Now, the Palace of Cups is a card that talks about a peaceful, loving, calm environment that you find yourself in. I feel like this could represent your home for a lot of you, your sanctuary, your safe place, your happy place. If it's not your home, then whatever you feel happy, whatever you feel at peace, wherever you feel safe, protected, um, you can unwind, you can let your guard down. I feel like that's where you're putting in some work towards the um, last week of the month with the eight of coins. I feel like you're investing money in that. I feel like if you have, if your business is to do with spirituality or healing um, or guidance in any way, um, I feel like that's what you're working on in the last week of the month. I feel like you're working on increasing it. You're working on developing it. Uh, you may be working on taking it to the next level, um, expanding. Uh, reaching new platforms, that sort of thing, uh, gaining new coverage for some of you, um, or attracting more uh, clients, or kind of just spreading the word about what you do. Um, for others, I feel like the Palace of Cups is um, a safe place, so you may... I feel like you may be taking a holiday someplace with water, someplace you feel calm, relaxed, at peace. Or you may be buying a second home or like a holiday home um, and you're working on it, you're working on fixing it up or decorating it or something like that. For others, I feel like around the fourth week, you may be spending more time with friends, with family or your significant other. Um, there, This is a time of communication. This is a time of joint efforts. This is a time of balance and meeting each other halfway. Um, very, very, um, I feel loving energy, a lot of friendship, a lot of support. 
understanding and acceptance with the Palace of Cups. So you may be taking time off to recharge your batteries from all this work. Um, you may be taking some time off and really spending it with those you trust, with those you love and they love you. And it could be traveling as well. You could be traveling, taking a holiday, um, taking a trip uh, to water, near water, by the sea, or like sea world or sea life comes to mind as well. Your guidance card, your color card for the month is Scarlet, number seven, Attract Success. So this is telling you, okay, it's a seven, so it talks about uh, personal growth, professional growth, um, spiritual growth, finding your truth, new ideas, new inspiration, standing up for yourself, okay, so it ties in with the energy of the devil where uh, maybe people are trying to take over what you're doing, even though initially they may mean well, um, they kind of lose track. Um, this is telling you that this is going to be a very successful month for you, okay? Just confirmation. Uh, you attract success in everything you do, so um, this is also asking you to be mindful of how you spend your energy. Don't waste your energy, don't waste your ideas, don't waste time also. You have a lot of ideas that are very useful, very productive, um, could help a lot of people, I feel, for some of you. It's time to act on them because you will be successful. Don't hold back on anything. Just stick to the plan and put in the hard work it will pay off okay um and this is also speaking to your confidence to your passion to your dedication okay it's red and red is confidence it's strength it's courage um feeling secure within yourself okay trusting your inspiration putting fire behind your plans getting them into motion so that's really what you're guided to do this month. And let's see what your soul lesson is for the month. We have Cave Sanctuary. And so your soul lesson is a karmic lesson you may have to learn this month. Um, or it is pretty much um, why are things happening the way they are this month? What am I supposed to learn on a karmic level, on a soul level? Now, Cave and Sanctuary. Um, I feel like for you this month, it's about finding your happy place. Um, this is also having faith and confidence within yourself. Um, this is also revealing your inner world to the to the world. Okay, I feel well, parts of it, you don't have to reveal all of it. But I feel bringing your ideas and your inspiration to the world. Okay, it's time to bring them to the surface, invest in them, make them happen, make them a reality. Okay, it's one thing when we're in our happy place and dreaming about something. Um, and then it's a different thing where we take that and we come up with a plan to make it a reality. I feel like that's what you're supposed to learn this month to trust yourself. Um, this is also asking you to um, draw your strength from within maybe not look for approval so much okay with the devil card in there maybe not care so much what people are thinking if they understand your vision if they see what you see or not you believe in yourself and remember with the scarlet card it's all about your power your courage your uh, drive and dedication uh, inspiration okay so this is about i feel just learning to appreciate yourself be happy with who you are be at peace with who you are um, and like I say, bring your ideas to the surface, come up with plans to make them a reality. It's time to get practical. It's time to get realistic, make your dreams a reality. It will take some work, some time, energy, resources, effort, but they will pay off for you. And this is also, I feel open up a little more with, um, the sanctuary card. Okay. I feel like this is open up. This is, um, reach out to people i feel like share your experience with people share your your ideas with people you will be surprised by the amount of support you receive um and at the same time this is allow people into your sanctuary okay allow people obviously not everyone people you trust and people you feel close to but allow them to uh come into your happy place okay to see your inner world and the beauty of it don't isolate yourself it's time to go out and conquer the world is what i heard okay so there you have it um it looks like a really good month for you guys for you leos um let me know if you like the reading if you've enjoyed the reading if it makes sense especially if it helps um and also how your month is going i would love to hear from you 
thank you so so much for being here thank you for all your support for subscribing to my channel for liking my videos for watching my videos just being interested in my work for commenting i appreciate that so much um sharing my videos if i haven't said that already and um a lot of you have asked me about um how to make donations um and why don't i have a support button on my channel um, I can't put a support button on my channel because I'm in the UK and apparently um, there's regulations that we can't do that. Um, but I do have a donate bu button on uh, my website and I put a link to it in the description box below is the second link, the longer link. So if you're interested in doing that, then you have that option and I thank you for it. And I just thank you for uh, just the intention, just the thought of it. I appreciate it. So there you have it. I hope you have a fantastic month. I will talk to you mid-month. Take care.